Uh, the possibility of having three Tulfos in the Senate is not a long shot. So given that Senator Rafi is already there, what will make you a different Tulfo? Well, you have to watch carefully. We are brothers. Isa lang ang doon dumadalo sa ugat namin, ang public service. Because I have a different discipline. I'm an executive. I'm a communicator. I listen. Nakikinig ako. Pinakikinggan ko. And FYI, we have solved a lot of problems through legislators who came to us and act like partner because we became their case study. And a lot of loss, and I don't want to talk about it, but if you want, we can have a long conversation some other time, and we will present to you kung ano yung mga laws that passed because of those cases na kinuha ng legislatura, the lower house, and pumasa sa upper house. One of which is yung latest after the sauna na naging topic na ipinresenta ng Pangulo. And we're glad because sa baba yun. It's something to do with banking and the scamming, which we have a lot of those cases. Nakipagtulungan sa amin ang lower, lower house. The chairman of the lower house, I think, si, uh, sa banking, was uh, Congressman Erwin Cheng. And there, was, there are a lot of laws na gusto namin, kasi ito yung challenge namin, Biometro, yung aming action center. A lot of you don't know that. So now, I'm introducing myself to you. This is another tool for do you have any question? Okay, next question, please. John, inquiry.net. Sir, just to categorically confirm, sir, no, you're running for Senate, sir, because it was not yet. Uh, is this for a Senate run, sir? Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, Ms. Mayen, Philippine Star. Yes, may Sir, are you running as independent? And, and how would you address the issue of a uh, political dynasty in the Senate? Okay. Yes, I'm running as independent. As a matter of fact, there were a lot of invitations. I don't want to, you know, name those parties with due respect. I was invited to join them, but I decided and think about it. And then I realized that I think we had a survey that says I'm better off running as independent. That's a data-driven. So I have to follow that. And that's the, uh, the preference of the people, data-driven survey. So independent. Now, as to the question of dynasty, yes, we're dynasty in terms of helping people in the media first. We broke the record. We were the first brothers, the Tulfo brothers, the four of us. I'm sorry, no, modesty aside, we lorded over helping people. And sabay uh, sabay, kaming magkakapatid. And you know us, T3. So, is that dynasty? No, it's not. We don't have it, any district. Maybe on the executive level you can say that, or mayor ka, because you have a district. But running for Senate, it's a national office. You cannot have dynasty. It's like saying, kasalanan ba namin kung nagguna na na minahal namin ang aming profesyon sa media? na pare-pareho kami ng aming inibig, binigyan ng importansya. Parang pamilya ng mga lawyers. Everybody wants to be a lawyer because the daddy was a lawyer or the mom was a lawyer. So everybody called family lawyers. Sometimes a family of doctors. From family of, uh, well, engineers. Because of the influence of a member of the family, we decided to love the profession and respect the profession and value that particular profession. How do you call that a dynasty? It's not our fault. People are supposed to pick. But if you talk about political dynasty, that's another story. Let's put a definition. I think we need to have a longer conversation about it. Some other time, I'll give you the definition. I'll be far more broad because we have a limited time. Did I ask, answer the question? Okay, thank you, sir. Another question for, sorry, another question for John. Uh, oh, gusto niyo ba ng Tagalog or sir, English, okay lang ba? English, English is fine, sir. Okay. Sir, um, did Senator Rafi, what's his reaction on your run? Did he 
may blessing niya po ba itong uh, pagtakbo niya? We brothers talk to each other. We understand each other. We kind of like share each other's wisdom. We help each other. Sometimes reality is we disagree with each other, but we're still brothers. So I don't need a permission of my younger brothers as, as to what my decision is. Decision is a pathway to destiny. That's make you who you are. But as far as courtesy, yeah, we talk. And yeah, he's got a thumbs up. Last question, Ms. Okay. Bob Gonzalez, GMA7. Yep. Hi, sir. Good morning po. Ma'am. Kung sakali po na tatlong tulfo nga po kayo na manalo sa Sena na nasa Senado, would you be working independently, as in voting independently, or voting as a block, as brothers? Um, let's put it this way. Independently, voting as block depends on whatever's the, you know, it's on the table. First, may sorry-sorry kami pag-iisip. Okay? Now, independently, yes. I have my own mind. Rafi is the man and Erwin is another man. And so am I. I'm the man. So, yeah, magkakataon siguro. I'll vote because maybe that's good. The greater good is for the people. So it's not beholden to the party. And that's the reason why Rafi is independent. I am independent. And I'm also like been offered to be adopted or sometimes you know, guest but i'm studying about it i mean officially din declare ko na sa inyo kasi baka mamaya kumalat ang mga balita na mali-mali dyan remember we are in the business of communication bawal ang fake news false news i understand exactly the language the standards the ethics the laws of journalism and i hope you understand as well magkakaintindihan tayo Anything else? One last question. Yeah, go ahead. Yes. Pakibanggit po ng may jargon and name. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Gab Villegas po ng PTV. Sir, if dumating po ang campaign period, there would be an instance po ba na magkakasabay or magkakasama po kayo ni Kong Erwin sa pangangampanya? Well, <clears throat> it could happen. Because first, I'm independent and... Uh, with due respect to my brother Erwin, he is with the administration. And so <clears throat> it doesn't really matter what party you are, because I've always felt that we're beholden to the people. And that's the reason why I didn't want to be with any party, because I'm a journalist. I'm supposed to be agnostic, beholden to the people. Party comes only second. Either you toe the line because you, you, you believe to the, you know, the platform or the whatever's the program or projects, that comes along, it's being put on the table.